Greetings, today I am going to show you how to make one of these. This is a wiring harness to hook up a second boot light if indeed you only have one in your Focus RS. Alright, so here is most of the stuff that we are going to need to make our new wiring loom. So we have our new housing, which has a little stock bulb in there. We have little connectors. We have the contacts that go inside the connectors. We have a couple of different colors of wire. Blue, because, you know, blue RS. And then white to differentiate from the blue. We have good quality solder, heat shrink tubing, loom tape. We've got some insulating tape if we need it, but maybe not. We have wire strippers and a soldering iron. So that's pretty much all we're gonna need that I can think of. We might need some pliers and things like that. But beyond that, this is the main stuff that we need. So the first thing we need to do is work out how much wire we need. So I'm gonna take this wire up to the car and I'm going to just pull it out and sort of measure it roughly to the size that we need. All right, we're here in the boot. So this is our wire. And um, we're gonna have to get from here all the way over to here, down here, all the way along here, then up here and across to there. So we need a decent length of wire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to hold it up there, and I'm just going to unravel this until I get all the way around there. Then I'll probably add about, I might add a couple of lengths of 10 centimeters or so in order to account for the couple of extra bits of wire that we need, which will make sense later on and then maybe add like a little bit extra just in case i'd rather have it to be too long than not long enough obviously so yeah let's get that done Okay, now that we have our length measured out of the blue wire, we just need to match it with the white wire. Now I have the two colors of wire the same length, and what I've done, you don't have to do this bit, but I think it's cool. You put one end of both of the wires into a drill, the other end into a vise. Grab the drill and walk away. Get a bit of tension going. Ooh, it's longer, well, longer than you might have thought. Okay, and then just spin. And then you get this really cool, if it would focus, spun wire. All right, now I'm gonna cut a couple of lengths, about 10 centimeters roughly each. And those will form a couple of little separate wires that I mentioned earlier, which, like I said earlier, will make sense very, very soon. So right there. And then the same again. All right, cool. So. We end up two short wires and then one really long wire. All right, you'll have seen earlier that there are two different types of connectors that we had sitting here. We've got this one, which is the female, and then this one, which is the male. Then we have our housing. So this is actually from a Ford car of some kind. Um, it's the exact same housing that you'll find in the RS. I managed to pick this up on the used market. It's absolutely like perfect condition. I would recommend you try and do that because um, you'll save a bit of money versus purchasing a brand new unit from Ford. Um, but you can see that it has this kind of connection on it and that's what these are matching. So you'll see this is the meal that I have purchased and it slots in there perfect. So, these are what we are going to use to make our wiring loom that will fit into this, our new housing, and of course the exact same one that we already have in the RS, the um, existing stock housing. So, it's not just a case of shoving them in there, unfortunately. We do have to have these metal bits. The, we have male and female versions of those as well. These are the male ones and these are the female ones. So, these will go inside these and then these are what actually connects to the wires and then once we get this all connected up it will make a lot more sense trust me. We've got so many of these because you have to buy them in a really big strip they're not that expensive anyway so it's no big deal even though I need, only need like a very small number and I will of course link all of the part numbers to all of this stuff where I got them. I got all of these things from RS Components brand new um, a really really good service can't recommend them enough but yeah the links will be in the description box below. Right, the general idea of all of this is that we have one connection currently coming into our stock one of these and of course that will be a meal going into the female of this but what we need is we need two meals one to go into our stock and one to go into this so one of our female connectors will go into the existing the stock meal 
which is in the car already. And then from that, we'll have two wires. And from those two wires, we are then going to connect both of the brand new male connections, one for our existing, one for our new. That's the basic idea. Right, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get these all sorted out. So this is what we need, two males, one female. So we have our metal connectors here that come in these strips. The female plastic connector takes the male metal connectors that go inside of it and the male, oops, and the male plastic connector requires two of the females. So not that that's confusing at all, but they work in pretty much the exact same way. If I can get this reel up close, it's kind of hard to really show. All right, so you can, hopefully you can see the little wings on there. So there's two sets of wings. There are the lower set, which holds the wire, and then there's the top set, which actually makes contact with the copper inside the wire. So we have to strip a bit of the wire off, place it in there, and then like bend essentially these little bits over. So the bottom ones will go over a bit of the plastic and hold this in place. And then the top ones will actually contact, like I was saying, with the copper inside. You can buy a crimping tool for this uh, from the people who make these connectors, but they are very expensive for that tool. So I'm just hopefully going to be able to use um, some pliers. Okay, I am going to start off with the female plastic connector. So I've broken off two of our male metal connectors got one of our short wires. We only need to strip off a very, very little bit of the plastic sheath because as you can see, well, maybe you can't see because it's so small. That is where our wire is going to sit and we only need that little bit just above my fingernail if that even comes across on the camera. That is about the amount that we need to strip off. Very, very little. So we'll grab our wire strippers and see if we can do that. Alrighty, give me a wee twist. So yeah, this is very, very delicate work, I suppose you could say. <laughs> so I think that looks pretty good. So if I can just get that to focus. All right, hopefully you can see that, but it's basically exactly what I described. The bottom, the bottom little flaps holding the wire and the top flaps being like essentially squished right into the copper of the wire. So just have to do the exact same thing on the blue one. All right, cool, that, that worked really nice. Crimping tool seems like a massive waste of money, just get some pliers. So now we need to just insert that into our plastic connector. So of course, this is the business end. So this other end is where we insert these. So at this stage, it doesn't really matter which color of wire goes in which side. It will matter though, whenever we do the male connectors, because we'll want to make sure that we're passing through blue to blue, white to white. Um, but for now, it doesn't matter for this first one. So if I could just get this to focus, Again, hopefully you can see in that there's like a little metal flap on top of the metal connector just right here in the middle section. And then if we get our plastic connector, you can see that there are a couple of little holes right in the middle. That is where those are going to sort of click into if you like. So if we just insert one, you can see that you've got these square, can you see? I'm not even sure what you can see on camera, but these are little square holes and these are sort of like a square section. So we just insert that flap up. Hopefully you heard that little reassuring click. That's when you know it is in and in place. So exactly the same with the other one, little flap pointing upwards, insert it in the hole and push until you hear that little click again. Nice. All right, so that is it in. So now we just need to squash this here and then that will just lock our wires right into place. So we'll get our trusty pliers again. That is our first connector created. And you can see inside there maybe, if you can. You can kind of see the glinting of our metal connectors in there. And so that is what our female is going to go into. So in a very similar way, we're gonna create our two male plastic connectors with our female metal connectors. So of course, because we're doing two of these, we need four 
of our male metal connectors. So these just come off the strip, like break it off like this. Just wiggle until it breaks. Yo, so yeah, exact same job. You can see that little metal bit on top for whenever we click it in. And we have one set of flappy things at the bottom to hold the wire and then the set in the middle for actually connecting to the copper. So exact same process again. So as you can see, that is the first one done. So we'll just repeat it on the blue wire. All right, it's gonna be the exact same job to get these into one of these as it was for this connector. But this time we need to make sure that we get the wires in the right order so that we don't get our wires crossed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our plastic connector. The male can only go into the female in one way because of this little tab right here. And that's this way. Boop. So then you can see that the top hole needs to be blue and the bottom hole needs to be white. There's a thing we need to note about the male plastic connectors that we're doing here. We need to push that in until it clicks a couple of times actually, right all the way until we see no more metal here. And you can kind of just about see a glint of metal in here. It's really hard to see, you probably can't see it on the camera, but trust me, if you look, I, you can see just a little bit of metal right there. Um, so we wanna do that before we snip this down, and that should go down real nice and easy. If you don't get that all the way in, it won't click down nicely, and it probably, well, it, you know, it might make a connection okay, it might not, it's, it's hard to really say. But anyway, yeah, we have our first meal done, and we can do a little test with our female now. Oh, yes, a very nice feeling reassuring clicky connection and yeah so that is that so the second male plastic thing that we need to wire up in exactly the same way as that one we just did goes on one of the ends of our big long wire which i just happen to have here righty ho so the process for this obviously exactly the same The idea of the next part then is to connect all the whites and all the blues and I've got it laid out like this because this is kind of showing you how things are going to come together in the car. So first things first, we need to strip off these wires. I'm going to then drop in a little bit of this stuff which is heat shrink tubing just so that we can neaten everything up afterwards and then we're going to solder the wires together. So I've unraveled a bit of each wire, I'm going to get a decent bit stripped off. Do that on each of them. Nice. So now I'm going to put onto onto the long one. I think I'm going to unravel it a little bit more. Get my heat shrink tubing on there first. Get these a little twist. That's just gonna be there for later on. Okay, now I'm going to connect up these sort of like kind of beside each other. All right. So then I'm going to put them kind of like face on, if you like, with the big long wire. So same sort of thing. So they're kind of like nicely twisted together. So now we just need to drop a bit of solder on there just to secure those twists. All right, soldering time.
All right, so that is our solder connections done. So now I'm going to scoot our heat shrink up over the solder. All right, that's nicely on there. So now I'm gonna use a heat gun to shrink this. Okay, so we've got our stuff, we've got our heat gun. I'm just gonna use it on number setting number one. So yeah, just whenever it shrinks down a bit, we'll be good to go. Simple as that. Well, that's pretty much it. I mean, that is the loom complete. I mean, we could just go straight and put this into the car as is, but to make it a little bit nicer, I've got some wiring loom tape. This can be wrapped around it and just make it look super duper nice. So you can kind of get the idea, just on those two short bits, what the limb tape does. It just, just makes it really nice and neat looking. Even though our twisted wire is quite neat looking, I think, already. But yeah, for the sake of time and your sanity watching this video, I might just uh, do the rest later off camera. Um, so now what all we need to do is take this up to the car and test that it works. All right, so I've got a little prying tool. We need to pry the housing out in order to get at the wire. So that's what I'm gonna do first. All right, next thing is to pop out our stock connector and then connect up everything. So what I will do first before I do that is I will get our far end connector and put it into our new housing here. Like so. I've got a couple of other lights set up here. It is really dark at the minute. And whenever I pull this out, this light will go away. Okay, so. so connecting up our wiring loom, our stock light has come back on as you can see. And over here, our secondary new light is also on. And you can see this is just a stock bulb that's in there and it looks absolutely not very nice compared to the super bright auto beam. So that's awesome, our wiring loom works perfectly. Well, there we go. That is how you make one of these harnesses to hook up a second light in the boot of your RS. I hope you like this. I hope you like this little video. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe for more content to come very, very soon. Thank you once again. Goodbye.